Grabe, no? It's like... You hear the water. You hear the birds. There are cars going by, but it's still so peaceful. You're bringing the outside in, the inside out, because of all of these glass panels that lead you in and out, and it's just so seamless. It's great. It's like you don't know where you are. It's like you're getting lost in a place where there's no time or place. It's just this house, and you're resting in it. What's the kind of house you want to live in? This is the kind of house I want to live in. Today we've got such a treat for you guys. We have a house and lot for sale in the Sugbu, Batangas. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at presello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another presello open house tour. It is really windy, okay, and really sunny at the same time. And it's perfect for capturing the beauty of this house behind me. Just look at it. It is gorgeous, right? You see all of the lines thanks to the sun and the shadows cast thanks to the architecture. Okay, so you have this facade, right? You've got some ventilated, uh, well, walling over here, walling that's ventilated whole block, something like that. I'm not quite sure what the ter exact term is. If you know, comment down below. And then on either side, you have your vehicle gate there over on the right. And then we have the pedestrian gate over here on the left, which we are going to go through. Now take note that you do have a garden up here in front, a yard, if you uh, front yard, if you will. And you've got some nice wooden accents. And it just adds to this very textured and gritty character. Kind of like uh, Wabi Sabi, which is something that you will see throughout the entire home. Okay, so let's go in. And immediately, you will see your stairs leading up to the main entrance and what an introduction is, right? First thing you will see as well is a swimming pool. But you know, that's just a fun addition to this home. Why not have a swimming pool, right? But actually, 10 minutes away, you have access to the beach. Now, take note, we are inside a very private subdivision. So basically, the moment you go out of your subdivis subdivision, you'll be able to go to the beach in no time. Okay, so from here, you have a nice pathway that leads to your two-vehicle carport and your currently manual gate. But eventually, that will be an automated one. So it just hasn't been installed yet. Don't worry, we're going to go there later on. For now, let's go through the main entrance. We'll take note of all the details that you see here. Again, you have another garden, kind of like a Zen garden with your foliage 
well, there's a lot of foliage in it, so it's not quite a rock garden, right? And you have them trailing everywhere. Again, lends to that wabi-sabi vibe. And here you have, oh, it's a butterfly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and again, you have a view of the swimming pool. Hi! And then your stairs. So over here on the landing, you'll notice that you have these lines on the ground, right? That is where your glass railing will be installed. So it's not yet installed as of uh, making this video. It's, it's about 98% complete, as you might have heard someone say from the background. <laughs> but yeah, it will be installed over here. Then again, you have a view of your vehicle carport, a window, and your main door, which is a nice flush solid wooden door against all the neutrals that you see here including the ceiling which is in stucco you're gonna see more of that later on to great effect and this wind is also alam niyo kasabihan na mahangin sa labas totoo for me for my for this particular house tour kahit anong ganda ng bahay sobrang opposite yung buho ko so you're just gonna have to ignore it guys okay all right, so we have here a digital lock. There are no doorknobs, so that's part of the minimalist side of this house. So hold on, let me just do this thing first. All right, there we go. All right, and push. So as we enter, we have this nice foyer, right? This is where their masks are, etc. You know, the, the usual things that we have these days for <laughs> in our foyer. A window that casts such a dramatic lighting on the ground, as well as a view of your swimming pool. And then on the other side, which is still part of your foyer, we have some art basically displayed on the wall, on the ground, and on this ledge, this wedge ledge, if you will, framing, and which frames this nice window. My goodness. And this is just a taste of the rest of the house, right? It's such a nice welcome, so tasteful, so artful, and also so technologically advanced. <laughs> okay, so these are your uh, switches, but not your typical switches. You'll see one of many. So the, what, <laughs> what is that? Anyway, so this is your control hub because basically this is a smart home. So this is one of your control hubs. These control, well, lights and everything else that you may want to control using these particular panels. As you can see, it's categorized per area. And once you go through your first arc, you will then be welcomed by your living spaces. And just take this in because it is so beautiful. How many times have I said that already? It's only been how many minutes into the house tour. So you see these nice arcs that frame this area so beautifully. You see the main stairs behind it. You see the high ceiling with the nice lighting. Also, you see so many points of entry for a light to come in thanks to all of the huge windows. It's everywhere, right? Not to mention, right in front of your living area, you have this sliding glass panels that go all to the left side and open up to your swimming pool. So this part of the swimming pool is the shallow end. You have two steps down, which will lead to somewhere that you can sit down. And then three more steps down that leads to the actual, uh, to the deepest part of the swimming pool, which is about four feet. And then you also have glass doors here that open up to your kitchen, which we are gonna go to in a bit. So next to your living area, we have your dining area. This is custom made to match the rest of the house, which as you might have noticed, all the walls are in stucco. Don't worry, we're gonna 
appreciate more of that later on. But yeah, everything you see, the walls, they're all white, they're all stucco. Basically, uh, cement finish in white and it has texture and character and grit. Even if it looks so smooth, modern, and refined, right? Okay. Oh, also, take note of the lighting fixtures. They're so unique. You have your spotlight over spotlights over there. And then you have wall sconce over here. Sconces? Yeah. Sconces for plural, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Because sconce also sounds like a plural term, no? But I, no, it's sconces. Right, anyways, <laughs> grammar, Nazi. All right, so next to your dining area, we have sliding doors again that lead out to your patio. Or to your um, balcony. Not patio, your balcony. So these, again, look open because the railings or the glass uh, railings haven't been installed yet. But they will be. Again, 90, <laughs> 98% done. But this is such a peaceful area so this is the rear of your property and this is your view it's such a nice and quiet neighborhood again in the Sugbu Batangas it's 10 minutes away from the beach so let's go back in and into the kitchen also just gonna point something out real quick throughout different parts of the home you will see ports or outlets on the ground with brass covering so it goes well with the house and it also enables you to lay out your home the way you want to without having wires running across the floors to get to a certain wall or whatever, right? So that's very, very smart. Okay, so your kitchen, oh, bless this kitchen. It's magnificent. You've got windows on either side. So this one is a sliding glass door. That one is a picture window with a few... Um, then the awning, eh? So awning is when your windows open like this. But when it opens like this, it's called something else. I forgot what it's called. I'm gonna remember. <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> I'll remember it. So anyways, and then here on the other end, we have clerestory windows. So fixed windows up there on top. And that's why it's so bright here in the kitchen. Okay, so over to this end, we've got your built-ins, your microwave, your oven, and then your provision for your refrigerator lots and lots of counter space first of all you've got an island counter here in the middle which includes your range your hood and then over to this side we've got your sink so this kitchen surfaces or your countertops are quartz with some resin embedded within them as well as a few sparkles so it's really nice to look at and then when you look at your sink, you would think that... Hello. <laughs> when you look at your sink, you would think that it was just quartz. Just quartz, right? Actually, this is a stainless steel sink. And then they use the same quartz as the surface. So it's a very durable sink, in other words. And then again, you've got the brass fixture to complement and go well with the rest of the home. And then, and then you've got these uh, very minimalist and off balance of but I did it with grace because my hair isn't <laughs> um, going well with my grace today. Anyways, so you have these cupboards down here and these are in plain matte white or off white, right? And there are no handlebars, just finger holds. Okay. And then on the other side, it's the same style, but in a different surface or finish. So speaking of finish and furnishes, let's look at the lights. So again, you've got the very interesting spotlights and these little pin lights. Like They are tiny, tiny pin lights. Now, I'm not going to name the brand, but these are all of the lighting fixtures are German made. And to be frank, they're very, very expensive and really, really, really nice. So you will see it throughout the home. And boy, oh boy, you will just love it. Okay, so another perspective of the living room. And just to clarify, everything that you see here, the fixture, the furniture, 
It's all included. Yeah. Everything is included. Okay, so before we head up the second floor, let's go down the basement. Check out the handrail though. This is so cool. It almost looks like a cane, a wooden cane. So it is actually wood and then to prevent um, edges, right, like dangerous or sharp corners, they use this as the end of the, ha of the uh, handrail. And there's more on that later on. Oh, look at the stairs. So check out these steps. So in the middle, we've got some tiles here, right? Wood-like tiles with texture, by the way. And it's framed by pebble washout. So very natural, very grainy texture that just looks so clean and nice at the same time and still has so much character okay at the end of the stairs again you have the handrails that end with these with this curve and then over here we have the staff area so as you can see it is quite lived in and you'll see also why it is such a nice area to live in Okay, so over here we have a general area, right, where they set up their table. But architecturally, let's check out this wall. So you've got jalousies in here. Perfect, great ventilation, okay? It lets in so much air. It's also very aesthetic. Of course, you know how jalousies are, right? When you close it, it's practically frameless because you only see the sides uh, on either side of the glass right that's the only thing that's the only construction that you see everything else in between is glass so it looks very clean when it's closed and it's so breezy when you open it then you have a door here which also has a bit of jealousy actually that leads to the two vehicle carport so now you can see the uh, carport right over to the right over here so if you hear a bit of buzzing, that is the pump. So this is your pump room, maintenance room also if you want. You can store a lot of things in here. And then this is the window that leads to one of the staff quarters. So currently being used as storage. So this is the door that leads to that room. It has a lot of items right now, but yes, this is staff room number one. And then over here, we have the daily kitchen. So nice and industrial grade, everything is stainless steel. You have a wide sink over here with two... Um, tawagito. There's a this, gooseneck faucets. Your range. And then more space. This huge space is specifically for this nice bunny. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, so you have this space. It's up to you what you want to do with it. And then this door leads to the toilet and bath, the common toilet and bath. So this one is shared by whoever staff is in here. And then over to this area, we have the laundry area. I love it when a house has a dedicated laundry area. So currently not fixed to or hindi siya naka ayos sa tamang layout niya as it should be in the plan. But you can see how this is the dedicated laundry area. So we have your sink, your gandaan ano niya eh, anong mop area. It also has a faucet built in already. Yung gripo and yung mga abang. So this is where your washing machines should go it should be flush but currently they're using it this way for personal reasons and then this is storage or a pantry it also has a lot of items right now yeah it definitely has a lot of items right now but this is a pretty huge room so you can just imagine the entire length of this wall and almost as deep as this not quite as deep as this but almost so it's quite big and then to over to this side. We're not gonna go in here because there are people inside, but this is staff quarter or this staff room number two. So yeah, this is your entire staff area. It's huge, it's nice and spacious, it's breezy, and it's nice and bright. 
So let's head on back upstairs. I love how from here, and you go up, you see the arc, you see the bottom of, or the underside of the stairs, and all of them again are in this beautiful stucco finish. Oh, and look at this. These are the light switches. How cute is that? Ganda. Ah, it's like you're in a tropical dream. You know how, yeah, you know you're in the Subu Batangas, but you could be anywhere in the world because this kind of house, international level of design. Okay, so over to this corner before we head on over to the main stairs, we have two doors. The first one leads to your guest powder room. And it quite literally is just your water closet, your sink, Mm, it smells divine in here. I'm not even kidding. I'm bon. <laughs> and then look at the ceiling. So it's a small room for your water closet, but it still has details like that. And look at that drop light, though, that pendant lamp. This one, it's so gorgeous. It goes so well with your faucet. I don't know if you can see it. It's over here. And your bidet which is of course right next to the water closet in front of the toilet and uh of the powder room we have some storage although currently they're using it for their internet and other things wire management of course is a must although this isn't actually where it should be this is temporary oops wrong camera this is temporary <laughs> and then this room is the shower area but it also has a sink and such a lovely sink it is. It's custom made, obviously, built specifically for this area. So you have your sink over here, a uh, counter uh, surface for you to put your things on, an outlet, again, that beautiful pendant lamp, a bar for which you can hang your towels on, but with even without a towel, it looks like art, thanks in part to the ceiling. And you have a nice, ledge over here as well as over here so this is your shower space so again you have the stucco stucco is a very versatile surface okay you can have it in your living room you can have it in your bathroom it's great you can have it in every single room of your house it's gonna look fantastic and you've got your built-in uh, built-in fixtures in matte black to contrast against the white stucco and then a vertical window over here, similar to the powder room. And guess what? Privacy. You don't need to have it frosted. No one's going to see you. Okay. And now it's finally time to head up the second floor. Check that out. This frame alone is art. Is it not? This house is included in spot.ph must-see spaces. So if you want to see more of this house, make sure you check the link in the description below. So as you head up, you see more of the arcs. You've got an arc over here, over here on the side. By the way, this eventually will also have glass. Right now, it does not. But actually, either way, no, it looks already, it looks nice on its own already. Okay, so over here, we have a window <laughs> behind the camera. Then on the landing, we can immediately see the hallway, which has two doors. So we are going to go through this one first. Oh, again, look at these switches. They're so nice. Okay. I know, right? How often do you see a bedroom that looks like that? Not very often and not usually. In the Philippines, right? like I mentioned, international level of designs. Great. Okay, so there are a lot of things that need to be mentioned in this room alone, but let me do this first. Alexa, tell us a joke. What do you call a sleepy woodsman? What? A slumberjack. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> so yes, 
This is a smart home powered by Alexa. Well, not Alexa, but you, you get it. You can talk to Alexa if you wanted to. And it's accessible throughout the home. You've got piped in music in every room. We were listening to songs earlier. Wow, sound throughout the entire home was amazing. Okay, all right, so about the bedroom. So you see this nice arc over here, right? They did order a specific bed frame for this room. However, it hasn't arrived yet. So this is a makeshift bed area with basically two beds stuck together. But just imagine when you have that custom bed frame over here. Mm. Gorgeous. And again, that's included. Everything else here and even the ones that you haven't seen yet, like the ones that haven't been installed yet, are included. Okay, so the reason why this room is so bright, well, hopefully it looks bright in the video, is because you've got windows on either side. You've got floor to ceiling windows over here, basically fixed, but you can open these, and also the ones in the end. And you also have these. Now, these have railings because you can open this up and you have a view of your swimming pool and also the rest of your neighborhood and your nice neighbors. <laughs> but yeah. You just open this up, especially when it's really nice and windy and windy, breezy like today <laughs> and cold day. Oh. And then no area is wasted. Yes, you have a lot of open space, right? Very minimalist. But in spaces like this, you still have storage and you've got a nice refrigerator, mini fridge setup over here. So when you feel thirsty at night, you, you don't have to leave or anything. You just reach for this one. You have some built in, so this is your entertainment area, clearly. The AC unit is included, the TV is included. Some storage over there. And then in here, we have your built in desk. So very clean. Again, the walls are stucco. And the only thing that sets contrast against it is the actual built in in light wood. Of course, we've got a light chair. And across your built in desk, again, you have more access to your control panel or your smart home system. So your um, you use the gate or rather you use a doorbell no, and then your area controls and then more of the light switches. Actually, Marvin made a very good point. It kind of reminds you of um, an aircraft. <laughs> okay, and here, So these are actually very special doorknobs. They're biometric. So you see that? That's where your thumb goes. So you can unlock it. It's so minimalist and so cool. It's it's very... That's the beauty of it. Okay, so here we have a walkthrough closet. You can tell that they have <laughs> very neat clothing. But more importantly, you can see just how neat the actual clothes line lines are. And then you've got a ledge up there on top with a nice cold lighting. And then these tiny spotlights are so cute. Actually, not just the spotlights, even the pin lights themselves. These are so cute, but they're very effective. And then here again, past the more narrow arc, uh, arcway, archway, we have the master toilet and bath oh my goodness mahangin talaga sa labas so anyways your wrong camera your master toilet and bath is a joy to be in it's so nice and bright and you've got these little details that your eyes can settle on as you relax in your bathtub with the bronze fixtures <laughs> So your laundry hamper over there just adds character. Again, the entire house has this very wabi-sabi feel. You've got the brass uh, clothes hang um, hangers. Well, not hangers, but it's where you hang your clothes. <laughs> and then everything else is brass. Again, as I mentioned, the ones in the bathtub, on your sink, your mirror, your drop lights. And again, your ceiling has the arc details as well as your partially enclosed shower space now right now 
it does not have glass but it will eventually be installed with tempered glass it again just hasn't arrived yet but just imagine it's so cool right so you have a lot of space in here again you have your built-in fixtures in, in brass this time your vertical tiles your niche for your products and again these custom-made enclosures and of course your japanese toilet and more of the switches <laughs> okay so that is it for the master bedroom let's head out the hallway so here we've got more windows places where you can hang artwork or just let them rest on the floor it's up to you very artistic either way and then in here your hallway which again has a view of your living room and your swimming pool and the rest of your neighborhood as well as your really nice pendant lamps <laughs> then again more of the stairs in the arc which again eventually will have glass although right now it does not and then in here also take note of how the doors they have jams on either side but you don't see the jam at the top usually there is the one so that's a nice design touch and how the ground how the floor does not have a visible termination it's just seamless so it's very minimalist in that way in that there's no clutter visually okay so in here we have bedroom number two so this is one of the kids room you have a lot of space like a lot of space on this side you again have the floor to ceiling windows this part can be opened this part is fixed you have your speakers you do have some ceiling design you have um something that covers your curtains a little bit of a you know leveling and then over here oh there's a dragonfly <laughs> over here it's a bit of high ceiling so this is because the shape of the house itself is quite irregular in the best way and it allows for each room to have very different character to have very different ceiling layouts as well Okay, so this room has access to a balcony, a square balcony. And again, this has a view of your swimming pool and your kitchen. And also the master bedroom, but depends if the curtains are drawn or not. And also, can I just say, it is simply stunning how the stucco is also out here and flows seamlessly indoor. Right? Look at that. It's such a versatile material. More houses really should use this here in the Philippines because this material is used elsewhere, everywhere, all the time. We need to use it more. Oh, to be flanked by these two wooden doors, right? Okay, so this door leads to your ensuite, toilet, and bath. So you have this adorable sink. This is very Japanese looking, actually. This, uh, these wooden flats. Okay, so you have your countertop, your sink with the matching matte black fixtures and drop light or pendant lamp, your storage, and it's also floating or it's cantilevered, so it's not touching the ground. It's easy to clean underneath. Your water closet here in the middle, and then your shower space. I love that this window is right here. You do have a view of your neighborhood but the likelihood of anyone seeing you taking a shower from here is very low so kampante ka taking a shower here even if there is a window right next to you the walls are in huge tiles huge cut tiles so these are about what 60 by 60s and then the ground is much bigger actually oh no it's the same it's the same it just has this effect because it's a it's in a different shade this is darker than the floor can you hear that? How smooth that is? Mm. So well done. Oh, hold on. I forgot to 
show you another area of the room because it's so big. So this area, it's it's up to you what you want to do with it. You could put a desk in here, but currently it has a built-in right here, cupboards for storage. And you know, it's just a nice area that's peaceful to look at. Like when you're in bed, you wake up, and it's just this very clean and serene corner. Or you can meditate or just reflect. It's really nice. Okay, and as you will notice throughout the entire home, all of the corners are rounded. So technically they're not corners anymore, are they? <laughs> all of the edges are rounded, right? So it's, it's except for these, of course, because these are door jams. But these, for example, they're all rounded. So actually there's a quick story about that. Should I say? Yeah. All right. So actually the owners, um, one of their kids, or actually their eldest kid, had an accident when they were little. This is in a different place, of course. And he or she, they <laughs> hit their head on the corner or on a corner wall, and it actually led to stitches. So the owners, being architects, didn't want that to happen anymore. So they decided to round off every corner in a house. So additionally, what that did was, although it initially began redundant although it began with the idea of having or making sure that their kids are safe from these corners it ended up being an aesthetic addition as well because it softened the lines of the house which is very modern right but it doesn't feel hard edged literally also made it look quite mediterranean as well so modern but with character oh also if you haven't already make sure you click Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you've been enjoying the house tour so far, because I clearly have been, and dami ko sinasabi, if you appreciate it, do give it a like and let us know in the comments if you're enjoying it. We really, really do appreciate it because we love making this for you. Oh, and if you need help selling your property, you go to our website, look for the tab, sell my property. We're going up the third floor. Malapit na, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just very chatty when we're touring houses like this. Okay, so we have a baby gate over here. <laughs> Actually, I think it's more for the pets, but... Okay, let's keep that closed. So here on the third floor landing, we have a very different layout. Oh my goodness, I hope you were able to see it. Yeah, Malamang, you were able to see that one because that's where I came from. <laughs> I just didn't see it. Anyways, so again, you have the arc. You have a lot of the spotlight. It's over here, lined in the center of the hallway. That way you can display your art on either side, wherever available or not. Let the light be the art. And then I just wanted to quickly mention how all of the walls are bujos. So it's solid cement. Okay, so the finish is, well, it's stucco. Again, it's cement. <laughs> but the wall itself, the construction of it is solid bujos. So it's not wood or anything hollow. Oh, and in case you haven't noticed, they do have baseboards, but it's also white and you can barely, like it doesn't grab your attention from the rest of the house, right? It's because everything is white and light wood. This doesn't grab your attention, which is nice. I mean, it's not a hard and fast rule that your baseboard should be invisible. It's not because sometimes you want people to look at your baseboards as a sort of uh, as something to draw your eyes towards something, right? But in this case, since we are going, or since this house is minimalist, that was a design choice, and it's just... Okay, so this is bedroom number three, and it's obviously the kids' room. Oh, I feel so bad about stepping on the rug. <laughs> okay, so you have a lot of space. Again, you have these huge windows. These aren't floor to ceiling anymore. You can't open all of them though, because over here, you can see the roof. At least the roofing for the, or for bedroom number two, the one in front, right? So speaking of roofing, actually, makapal siya. So it's a sandwich type roofing. Insulation is about like this thick, more or less. Right, so if you are familiar with insulation you will know that the sandwich type is like one of the thickest and most effective kinds of insulation oh kitten dinosaurs so you have a mural going on here oh it's nice and textured and it's very 
you know, it's very youthful, halatang pambata, but it's so tasteful. Muted colors, still very relaxing, still very minimalist. With design choices like this one that goes so well with it. So cute. Okay, and then across bedroom number three, we have bedroom number four, which they turned into the playroom, clearly. <laughs> so it's the playroom or the everyday room for, you know, the homeschooling situation. So you have your TV over there. Your oh, that is cute. Isn't this the setup you wanted as a kid? Comment down below. <laughs> I would have wanted that as a kid. I still want it as an adult, except you know, in my scale. <laughs> and again, you have the retro styled mirror. Uh, well, art all around. So it's not an accent wall. It's in the entire room. You know, John. John was looking at the toys. <laughs> Favorite character. Anyways. <laughs> so I love how it's just white and black lines and then you've got pops of color. And speaking of pops of color, see how this is all white and light wood and brass, right? You have a kitchenette in here. So for snacks, you can wash your hands, store some stuff, clean, uh, that's your um, eco mom. And right next to it, Again, right? All white, all neutral, and then BAM! This is the most playful toilet and bath in the entire house, but still very modern. Actually, it's very retro. It's very uh, 60s type, right? Very mid-century modern, very playful and colorful with all the primary and secondary colors that you see. It's just so brilliantly mixed together and still goes well with the house. Even the green tiles, so nostalgic. Right? Parang ito yung mo sa bahay niya dati. But updated to go well. Actually, no. Correction. Yung mga lumang bahay dati. So, ito alam. It's my personal. This is my hot take. They don't look old. Napag lumaan lang siya. Hindi siya naalagaan ng mabuti. But if you're able to take care of your home, no matter if it looks like it's from the 60s, it's gonna look amazing. So try to maintain your houses no matter what decade it, decade it was built because trust me, it's still gonna look up to date if you maintain it. Okay, so here we have a recreation room, a spare room of, you know, an area, a room that they haven't quite finished yet because initially this was supposed to be a nursery, but since they don't really need it as a nursery anymore, making extra room shop, but you could turn it into bedroom number five. You can close it off in the arc. And obviously it's already a room in itself. You can even turn it into an arc room actually, since it has a lot of light, right? And you're high up on the third floor, you can turn it into a music room and what have you. And ignore the, oh, they're about to put up Christmas lights. So that's what, the, that's what this is uh, essentially. And some of their pets are just hanging out here for the meantime. I'm sorry we're disturbing you. <laughs> of course, you still have the gorgeous lighting in here. Ah, oh, look at that. It's magazine material. Okay. That is about it. I'll meet you on the ground floor for the recap. Oh man, look at this. You have a natural stone slab in place of a step. How nice is that? Kinikili. <laughs> yeah, kasi sobra. Okay, so the concept of Wabi Sabi is if you had a courtyard with a tree, you clean off that courtyard, you sweep it off, and then you shake the tree and you let the leaves fall gracefully. That is the idea of Wabi Sabi. Like letting things be, letting things be as natural as it is, showing character, showing patina, showing texture and age. And that's what this house is. It's just gonna get better and better in time because of all the raw materials that you see that's gonna age beautifully. 
the stucco that you see that flows from indoor to outdoor and vice versa. Oh man, it's just a wonderful mix of modern, of retro, of natural materials, of modern materials, of wood and metal and glass and tiles. And hidden beautifully in all of that, you've got a smart home. You have a tech forward home that's 10 minutes away from the beach. <laughs> I am completely smitten and completely speechless. Well, that is a lie, and I'm gonna say with this home. And speaking of, you have 200 square meters of lot area. 200. This is what a great architect can do with 200 square meters of space. You can create an interesting home with it when you, when you plan smartly. With that being said, though, you have 385 square meters of floor area, five bedrooms, the fifth bedroom being the last one that we went to that is currently being used as a recreation room, but again, you can turn it into a bedroom. Four toilet and baths, a two vehicle car port. All of this, this beautiful package is inside a private subdivision that again is just 10 minutes away from the beach. This is in a Sugbu Batangas, but when you're inside, you could be anywhere in the world because you just don't feel it. When you're in here, it's so peaceful. You hear the water, you hear the birds. You wouldn't really know where you were if you just look up at the ceiling. You could be in Bali, you could be in Thailand, you could be in the Philippines, you could be in Europe, you could be in Australia. You don't know. It's such a timeless house and it's also very... I don't want to say places. That's such a weird word. That's, that word doesn't exist. You don't know where you are in the best way. Okay, so if you are super psyched about this house, share this video to your friends or to anyone you know who might like it because, I mean, just, I want to show this house to you guys. And if you also share that enthusiasm, share this to them. Because it's so beautiful, right? Comment down below. But if you want to see it for yourself, do send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Precello. Also, I apologize for my hair. <laughs>Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.